Testing, testing. Alright. Here is a video of me trading. Paper trading. Trying to make some money. Starting my account with $30,000. By the end of this video, I'm going to have $31,500. And this is how I made it. Shazam. Started with AMI this morning. At around 9.32 ish here I am smoothing my chart around trying to get it where I like it I'm like oh no I'm gonna buy 2,000 shares I'm gonna wait to hit the bid but I don't get the bid I have to buy it at market price if I'd have hit the bid at 1, 2, 3, 20, 3, 18 yeah so I was down here on the bid at 3, 18 Ended up getting it in at 333. Ugh, man. If I'd have been at 318, I'd be about four, five hundred bucks. Waiting, waiting. I'm going to sell half my shares. That's what I see right here. I got 2,000 shares. Ooh, I had 2,000. I've sold 1,000. I still have 1,000. This is the total amount I'm up. This is how much I'm up on the remaining thousand. I'm gonna join that ask. Oof, so close. I'm like, oh shit. Now, if I want to try to sell it lower, if it drops, I have to cancel that order. So that's why I moved my cursor. So if it drops, I gotta cancel, run over, hit a new join ask or sell market. And Shazam, just like that, $330. It's my second trade of the day. It is now 9.34. I hopped in a thousand shares on EROS because I was a little skeptical. But if you look over here at this chart and this chart, you can see there's some resistance right here. 320. So I was hoping it at least get up to 320. So I figured, eh, just jump in at three. I mean, what's three thousand dollars? Got scared, hopped out. I notice it kind of starts building a little uptrend, making higher lows. You can also look down here the bid. All these people wanting to buy, you know, two ninety four, two ninety three. Quite a few people wanting to buy, not as many sellers, so I was still interested. Still interested. Now, the bids got a lot of people wanting to sell now, but. Still a lot of people wanting to buy. Those bids shifted quickly. Get a closer look. Zoom in, because now I'm really interested. Sitting there talking, I just realized that I'm still in the position and never even sold. <laughs> or did I? When did I get back in? Oh well, who cares? Starting to look good here. I'm like, you know what? 
since I'm up in the positive here, I'm going to change it to cell half, locked in half. I was going to let the other thousand shares ride, hoping to get up to that 320 level. If I'm not mistaken, I'll sell it around. Actually, I think I sell it here and then get back in. Yeah, I was like, man, I'm losing my profit quick. I was up, you know, 150, 180 dollars. You know, finish up up 80. So this is where I start seeing, you know, still building higher lows. So I'm still interested. I don't want to miss that run to 320. Oh, see, going over there, double checking. I'm like, it's going to happen. If I'd have just stayed in it, I'd be in a much better position. here I'm like phew, jumping back in that's pretty high to be in 307 I should have got in at 3 see right here this is how much I'm up on the new position this is how much I'm up total and again I'm gonna change it to sell half my shares not all of them I'm willing to go in the red a little bit because I still have a lot of faith in it should have picked up another thousand oh that's what I tried to do don't think I get filled. I might. No. Okay, that time I did. Brought my average down to 305. So then I change it to 1500 because it's half a thousand. That way I can sell half my shares. Oh, WWR, my mentor called out that it would be halted any minute, so I hopped in quick as I could. I jumped back over to EROS because WWR is now halted. It's not going anywhere for at least five minutes. So I hop over here so I can watch EROS finish up this trade. And I can go back. And there's that pop that I wanted over this line. This is the line I'm trying to get to, 320. I don't get there. Have to sell half at 309. Maybe it's 310. Yeah, 310. Obviously, right here, 310. Man, I 
cancel it just in case. Boom, out. Now pop over to WWR, waiting on it to come back. It's back. Now this trade was just absolutely terrible. Sell half, decide to hold half, and then I make the dumb mistake of doubling down. End up buying the other half back at a lower price, which if it did come back up, would have made a lot of money, but it did not. You can watch it play out. Here it is, boom, doubled up. Now I'm at 3,000 shares. I was working on a dip buy, I guess. Deck had been talking about picking up some shares at down at like the three. What do you say? Three seventy mark, maybe. But it fell too fast, too hard, too quick. <laughs> and boom, just like that, down nine hundred and forty-five dollars. That actually puts me in the red on the day. But I've seen CLWT on my other monitors, and I liked it a lot. So I'm like, I am hopping in, and I'm hopping in big. So it's 5,000 shares at 481. Uh, let's see. Pull out my phone, get my calculator, and see exactly how much that is. $24,000 invested. but it was looking good. A little low on volume though. As you could see, I was looking at the, the volume going each frame, frame by frame. Seems like nothing's happening, but you can see the clock up here ticking. I was just anxiously waiting on some buyers to come in. Still felt good about it though. And then bam! just like that change it to sell half got it at 515 here kind of freaked me out for a second there but I was like up oh. pop back up so then bam took out half my order at 515 waited I think it hit a high of like 524 seen the bid down here hit 529 threw it up got filled almost instantly I'm out $2,100 see the volume on that 76,000 on that one candle now watch this oof oof people who got in up here oof paying that price I let the video roll for just a little bit <laughs> just to let y'all see how fast it came back down. And that's why you take your profits when you have them. Don't play around. And that's pretty much the end of the video. I finish up $1,576 for the day. Thanks for watching.